welcome back to the Crunch Time Kitchen where there's things bubbling away everywhere because today we're talking about cooking in different ways. So as you can see here in the hot area, we've got a couple of different moist heat styles of cooking. This one here, Steve, what do you reckon that is? Uh, boiling water. Boiling water, exactly. So we cook things in boiling water. For example, um, let's say we're cooking peas, for example, if we want to cook peas. Right, Bethany? Pop them in the boiling water. Bethany's got the giggles. She doesn't like peas. Brilliant. And then this one here. This one is a simmer that we want to bring it to, which basically means just before the boil. So instead of it bubbling away, it's kind of got like a gentle roll to it. And that's around about the 85 degree mark. But you can see what that looks like as well. Over here with the red, um, we've got poaching. Now, what sort of stuff can you poach? Eggs. Eggs, definitely. You can poach eggs or you can poach chicken. You can poach all sorts of things that need like a gentle, wet heat around them. Mm. Um, now, if you're making a sauce, let's say, you might want to be simmering that sauce in here. Now, this one here is a casserole pot and that goes in the oven for slow cooking, let's say braises. Um, what sort of things do you like slow cooked, Bethany? Ooh, Steve, you uh, beef? Steve's Beef, in. yeah, slow cooked beef, delicious. You could do some pulled pork, for example, or any sort of slow cooked vegetable as well. Indeed. And then over there, Nick, what's that going on there? Well, this is um, something that our show's been panned uh, widely, <laughs> and it's very good for keeping things hot, and you can fry <laughs> eggs on there yes. you know, for brekkie if you like. Absolutely. And this is an in-between because it's a dry heat but you're using a fat on which to cook it. So it's kind of like a mm, slightly moist dry heat. And then the next one there, what's that one? What do you think, Bethany? <laughs> what do you like a barbecue, is doesn't it? it I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> kind of does, Steve. It is a kind of tray. Ah. Uh... An oven tray. Uh, Very close. Well, you could pop this in the oven. You could, yeah, it's a griddle pan or a griddle pan. It's a griddle or... pan. Griddle pan. <laughs> Very good. Cool. It, yeah. it is a griddle pan, and on this you grill, and that's a dry heat. So mm. if you're grilling vegetables on there, you'd put them on dry, and then you brush them with oil at the end. Then that one right at the end. What one do you of reckon? my all-time faves. This one, Alice. It's really great for letting the intrinsic heat perforate whatever you're cooking. Often beef and and chicken and things like that. Really great for drawing them up. <sighs> And letting them breathe out and also letting things fall down to the bottom as well. Exactly. Mm, and what's it called? It's lovely. What's it called? Yep. Oh, I'm not going to give you all the answers, am I? <laughs> what do you think, Bethany? What does that look like to you? I don't know. Looks like a skeleton a bit, doesn't it? Not really. No? Okay. Uh, and that one is a roasting tray because you pop that in the oven and it's got the rack there to do exactly as Nick said. It helps the heat go all around whatever it is that you're cooking. Like, for example, roast chicken. Delicious. Mm. Who loves roast chicken? Me. Chicken is a light <laughs> sauce. Nothing better. A fine choice. Brilliant. Mm. Now let's talk about some of your favourite dishes and how they might be cooked. Steve? Uh, I like gnocchi. Gnocchi, a lovely choice. So for gnocchi you would take the potato dumplings essentially and, and put them, them in the boiling water. Yep. Well done. Bethany, what about you? Um, I like la lasagna. Lasagna is a great choice. So you'd make a wet sauce and then you'd pour it over um, the dry ingredients and put them in the dry heat of the oven. Nick? What's your favourite thing to eat? Oh, gee, I like everything, Alice. Um, big fan of Mexican ingredients. Do you guys mm. like Mexican? Yeah, Steve's kind a Mexican salsa? fan. Salsa? Mm. Yeah, like a salsa. <laughs> yes. Um, doing a salsa, probably. I might do some chicken on the old griddle pan oh, yeah, there, just lovely. to you know, give it those nice lines. Char lines, lines. The char definitely. Lines. Tacos. Yeah. Tacos. Yeah. Yeah. Tacos are good as well. Very good. Probably make the mixture on a gentle simmer over there. Yes, Just Very to bring good. it together, yeah. Exactly. Now, something to remember when you're cooking vegetables, depending on where the vegetables are grown, you can start the water from cold or hot. So you, you boil both of them, but if it, let's say, is a vegetable that grows in the ground, you start the water from cold because it takes a lot longer to cook. If the vegetable is grown on a tree or on a vine, for example, something like lemon. a lemon, let's say, yeah, a lemon, you'd put straight into that boiling water. And remember, when you're operating with any sort of heat in the kitchen, hot or sharp means what, Nick? Grown-up eyeballs, definitely, Bethany. Exactly. And we've got our grown-up eyeballs on all of this because we're going to be doing a bunch more cooking talk and cooking cooking. We'll see you after the break. We're going to roll <laughs> our way into the break, I think. Just rolling it in. Brilliant. Rolling. Good. Come on, come on, crunch time.